listen, when I tell you that my heart goes out to everybody that is overseas fighting and that's innocent and the lives that's being lost, my heart definitely goes out to them. But I would be remiss if I did not warn y'all. As a matter of fact, I feel like I've been warning y'all. Like at this point, I need for America to wake up and realize that we have our own threat going on over here in the United States. And her name is Krishan. Can we please, can we please annihilate and take care of this threat before it takes all of us out? Let's talk about it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. If you want to see extended videos, exclusive content, including story times and more, subscribe to my Patreon. If you want to stay engaged and keep up with my commentary, follow me on Twitter. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, TheAlightningSouls.com, to schedule you a personal reading today. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, a.k.a. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. But at this point, y'all hoes need to start calling me Ruben Simone. Because, baby, when I tell you I've been warning y'all, I've been putting y'all on game, I've been giving you my foresight, my my visions, my predictions, all of this, that, and the third. And every other week, it seems like I, <laughs> as usual, am right. Because what's going on, Krishan, is what's going on. And she is still out here terrorizing the general public. I told y'all, I begged y'all, I still don't understand why y'all haven't listened to me and returned that bitch back to Sunder. Why do we continue making these people that deserve to be stuck in private citizenship celebrities? Why? 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 I've been asking this question the last two or so years. And at this point, at this point, we really need to have a conversation. We really, we really, really got to have a conversation. And I can't even just put all the blame on Krishan because Tamar, bitch, we're going to bring you a seat to the table as well, okay? Because we, we got a lot to talk about. But before we go ahead and do that, baby, make sure that y'all go ahead and like this video. Hi. Now listen, I, 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 mm, I don't even know where to begin because as of late, since I really started getting this channel off the ground, I haven't really posted on weekends and it wasn't a thing until it became a thing. And so now it's a thing, but even though I got goals and it shouldn't be a thing and I need to stop making it a thing, I had to come out of my retirement of doing the thing and not posting on weekends to post about this fuck shit that's going on because listen. The news is everywhere. Every time I turn around, it's update after update. And I'm like, baby, if I wait till Monday, it's going to be 20 updates on 20 updates. And we already know Tamar and her mouth and what it's probably going to turn into. And there's some celebrity going to be mad at Tamar. They're going to be beefing. It's going to turn into something else. It's going to turn into something else. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get my two cents while I still can. What is going on with this Krishan and Tamar situation? I'm not going to hold you. The first thing that I saw when I woke up Matter of fact, did I find out about this news last night or today? I feel like I found out about it last night. But either way, I saw Tony's name trending. I saw Tamar's name trending. I saw Krishan's name trending. I didn't think nothing of it. Then I heard that Krishan had assaulted somebody at Tamar's concert. And I said, sounds about right. And then when I heard that Tamar invited her, I said, mm, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Because before we even get into Krishan's ass, let's get into Tamar's ass. Let me tell you all the problem with her. 
Because I used to stand Tamar. I used to stand Tamar. Like Braxton Family Values, I stand her like I understood her. Like I used to be able to understand Tamar. Like I got her. She was the black sheep of the family. She needed to Ben had cut her family off. I felt like all of the Braxtons are fucking toxic, but they get that shit from Evelyn, who was the main toxic one, who was male identified, dick deprived. And because of her anger against men and what the daddy did, she invoked all of that trauma and all of that toxicity into all of the girls and made them afraid of her. But I felt like Tamar was never the issue. The issue was Evelyn and Tamar was just a scapegoat. I felt like, yes, Tamar was extra. Yes, Tamar had a lot of mouth. Yes, she was dramatic. Okay, cool, whatever. But at the end of the day, she was a scapegoat for them to not be able to deal with their issues. Now, granted, on the Braxton Family Value show, yeah, there would be times where she would say things that maybe brought people the wrong way. Da, 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 da. But at this point in time, you know Tamar and you know her attention, you know her heart. At the same time, we can say yes. Like, did she go too far with certain things? Okay, cool, whatever. But y'all know, y'all know Tamar, and I felt like when the show came, it was like let's use Tamar and her personality to get this show up off the ground and get the attention for it. But at the same time, let's use her as a scapegoat and the punching bag. And, da, 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 da. and I saw a lot of similarities between her, her family and me and mine. So therefore, I always had a soft, sweet spot for Tamar, especially given that she was the star of the family. And to me, she sings better than Tony. Yes, Tony is a living legend, has music out the ass, but I feel like Tamar's music is better and Tamar sings better and looks better. This is the one case where it's like, okay, Solange is better than Beyonce. You understand what I'm saying? Because Tony was the star, but I feel like Tamar was the bigger star. Tony just got it first because she was older. But that's neither here nor there. I say all of that to say I grew up as a Tamar show. And I had been with Tamar. It was, wasn't was until recently, maybe after the whole suicide attempt and all of that, and that I started being like, okay, Tamar, okay. And then as of recently, you know, just the last couple of years, her choices and friends, and I feel like, like I've been saying it for a long time now, I feel like Tamar needs to go sit the fuck down and do some real healing. Like, don't go sit down, read a shadow book, or or look on TikTok and, and you know, do a couple of tarry and then all of a sudden think you heal. It's like Tamar is one of those people who takes a little bit of time to herself, wants to act like she's healed, and then comes back, turns around, does the same shit over and over. And it's like it's because you are not actually healing what needs to be healed. And one of those ways that that manifests inside of her life is the people that she chooses to associate herself with. Now, Tamar, very much like Anini Leaks, is, is known to keep a gay around. Known to keep a gay Judy, uh, like, that's where she feels comfortable. That's where, you know, the people go up for her. And it's like, yeah, it's where da, 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 da. Now, I'm somebody, I say, go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. So I'm not mad at the fact that she hangs around gays. But, like, Tamar isn't somebody who necessarily has, like, all of these best friends that are women that she can relate with. It's like, it's gay men that look up to her, that idolize her. So it's people that's not necessarily going to put her in her place or not even put her in her place, but like tell her about herself or like, you know, stand 10 toes down on business. It's like, she's around yes men. You know what I'm saying? Which is another reason why a lot of the times shit goes left. While I love Tamar for being young and youthful and fun and staying up with the trends, sometimes they could go a little bit too far, which is how we got to the situation with Krishan Rock. Krishan should have never been down to her show. The people were saying that Tamar was talking about she wanted to mentor Krishan, and I'm thinking like, well, who, who, then who's gonna mentor Tamar? Like Tamar, how you going, how you going to mentor Krishan when you need to mentor yourself? Let's make that make sense. So first off and foremost, before we get in, even get into this video. It's 100% Tamar's fault because Krishan should not have been there. You should have never invited the bitch. You should not have. But now let's get into Krishan's ass. So pay attention to the screen. You'll see it says exclusive. Krishan Rock allegedly punched James Wright Chanel in the face several times backstage at Tamar Braxton's show after Miss Hatana performed. It's crazy how he sung one little jingle and now all of a sudden he's famous. Like that, listen, I, I'm not the type. Because I feel like everybody has their time. Everybody has their way. I'm just saying, if I was to have my little quote-unquote hater moment, it is crazy how he sung a little Patty Pie song and, like, now he has all of this access. To fit, like, and it has kept it consistently. So I guess, I mean, maybe you could, but then again, when Tamar is your best friend and, like, you have access, maybe it's not that hard to sustain a lifestyle inside of Hollywood. But, like, it's just crazy how he's still around and relevant based off the Patty Pie jingle that he, okay. Okay, but that's who James James Wright is. If you don't know who he is, he's the reason why Patty Pies, you know, got sold all over the world and like really did well or whatever. And then him and Tamar became cool like right after that because again, Tamar likes to stay young. She likes to stay trendy. So 
what she's going to do is she's going to keep her a young gay queen around her that can keep her current and keep her fun and keep her alive and keep her trendy. She's known to do it. Before James Wright, there was, um, she was friends with Eli, the hairstylist, okay, that went on to do Meg's hair and then him and Meg fell out. Like, so she keeps a, a gay around her, okay? Now, this story is reporting that Krishan punched James in the face several times backstage at Tamar Braxton's show after missing her time to perform. Now, listen, Krishan should not have been there, but now, Krishan, not only are you there, then at some point you go on stage, and we're going to get into that clip in a second. But we just go do it in chronological order. So it came out that she punched somebody, right? <sighs> Getting into the post, this is my source told me that when it came time for Kershawn's song to be played, they couldn't find her and had to move on. She was out in the front trying to get a friend into the show. Kershawn had no clue she missed the opportunity for her song to be played, went backstage and cried about what had happened. She went into Tamar's room and spoke to one of the men working the stage, James Wright. While James was talking out of nowhere, Krishan allegedly punched him in the face several times because she thought his explanation was cat. What's even more shocking is that she did this with Tamar in the room. Girl, it's a time and a place. This is Krishan's behavior. You look in the um, comments. First comment is, this baby going to change her. The baby made her worse. And that's what I was saying the entire pregnancy. All of y'all dumbass bitches who, who seem to think that a little fetus is, is suddenly going to change your entire fucking... It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I know sometimes people get mad at some of the shit that I say, but I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep standing on what it is that I'm saying because these same little retards that's running around and terrorizing and all of this, that, and the third, and I'm trying to tell y'all how to heal and deal with your toxicity up front so you don't end up turning around and then asking me, can I give you a deal on, on my, aligning, uh, my alignment sessions because now you want to become a client? Yeah, this is this is what I'm referring to. This is what I'm referring to. Babies don't change people. Just because you get pregnant and you let a dick inside you and he come inside you, that don't mean that it erases everything that you've been through. If anything, it makes it fucking worse. Because now you have all of this unhealed trauma and then you have a baby that you're passing it on to who's going to feel that, especially when the entire fucking pregnancy you fight and fucking smoking and drinking. And then the baby has, does the baby even know what his crib looks like? It's been about two months of this baby being alive, and has a, have we ever seen a baby in a crib? The baby has been outside with the rest of us. The baby said, what pandemic? We outside, ho. Girl, that's all trauma that's going to pass on. And becoming a mother doesn't, like, come on now. Let's not act like we all don't have some sort of issues with our parents, whether you had a good relationship or a bad relationship. Everybody goes through some sort of trauma or toxicity, and it manifests into who you are. Whether you can't keep friends, whether you can't keep a man, whether you don't trust women, whether, you know, you don't trust niggas in a relationship, whether you get to a job and your bosses hate you or you you can't keep it. Like, it manifests into your life in some sort of way. So cut it out with all of that. But moving it on, and we do have a live stream that I'm going to probably bring up at some point. I just want to, you know, go through these posts as we got the updates. Then the next post after that, Came from Mr. L. Davis, who I guess is one of, you know, somebody on Tamar's team. Again, she loves a queen. She keeps the queens around her. It says, I just want to let y'all know that girl, Krishan, y'all keep hyping up, assaulted James Wright Chanel at Tamar. Co he had to say the whole name. I guess. Assaulted James Wright Chanel at Tamar's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison. She's trash, and that's why her life is the way that it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. Listen. Miss me with the protect black women shit. Miss me with the, oh, you just hate black women shit. At the end of the day, Krishan is a domestic terrorist. It is what it is. We keep trying to tell y'all, y'all keep trying to protect black women, huh? And it's not working. So those of y'all that get in my comments and get mad when you say, oh, it's fuck protect black women. So you hate black women? No, I hate black women like Krishan. And I hate black women who think that by yelling out protect black women, that that's going to absolve Krishan of her toxicity and her trauma and her terrorism. Because it's not. That's why I say fuck the whole protect black woman. I'm not saying fuck the movement. I'm saying fuck y'all that use it as an excuse. That use it as a crutch. Because look what's happening. Krishan is this way because y'all keep yelling out protect black women. And you're not actually protecting her. Y'all are enabling her. So yes, fuck all of y'all that are enabling this bitch. She needs to go to jail and the rest of y'all enabling her need to go to jail as well. But he says, that lady is a disgusting pig, and I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. You do not come to my show and attack people. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that she pays for assaulting James. She's going to prison. I am so disgusted. 
go through the comments. It's time to cancel her. She thinks she everywhere. Uh, she go with Zeus, no class. Kashawn not about to do nothing but say Tamar wanted her clout. <laughs> right? Okay, listen. That because we know Kashawn. We know Kashawn. Look, look at this comment, y'all. Look at this motherfucking comment. Krishan not about to do nothing but say Tamar wanted her clout. Expose their DMs and get on here and make it seem like James disrespect her because that is all Krishan does. Krishan is that girl who thinks that everybody in the world is jealous of her, that everybody in the world hates her and wants her clout and wants to use her because that's the monster that y'all created. So again, when you yell out protect black women and I say fuck that shit, that's what I'm talking about. This is not black girl magic. This is not black excellence. Fuck all of that shit is smoke and mirrors. All it does is enable a fucking terrorist to go out there and apparently keep my channel demonetized because I'm realizing I'm cursing a lot and I said I was not going to keep cursing like that because I need, listen, I need to get my money up. <laughs> I need to get my YouTube funds up and I can't be cursing but listen, when you're dealing with bitches like fucking Krishan, when you're dealing with bitches like fucking Krishan, my God. Speaking of God, you made the wrong bitch a millionaire. Like, I will never understand why is she not in private citizenship? Like, why is she this famous? We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Whoever want to get mad at me can get what? mad at me. What? Right, hold on. Not me click and play and the sound actually work? What? Wow. Because y'all know we usually have to take it to Tiki Talk. And it's working today? Ciao, you know, thank you, God. Thank you. Let's go ahead and like the video and thank God. Come on. Baby, we got to thank God on that one because God only knows how many motherfucking times I done tried to go to Instagram and pull up a fucking video. And literally, it could be, oh, video was posted two hours ago. And there's no, no fucking sound. That's crazy, child. Thank God. Let's get into it, though. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter butt... I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's... He wanted to call her a bitch, but he already knew that black woman was going to get on him. So you hate black women? So you hate black women? Protect black women. When you call her a bitch, you always policing somebody. Y'all know how y'all do. Y'all see how, how much we got a sense of our maps in 2024 because y'all want to walk around acting like terrorists. Like, come on now. Come on. Now. Like, oh, my God. It just, yes, yes. Somebody somebody the other day said, I'm noticing a common theme in your videos, and it just seemed like you hate black women. I do. Those that act like this. Y'all make it so hard for the intelligent, beautiful, smart, funny, black, brown girls out there that are actually making boss-ass bitch moves in this world. Like, y'all make it so hard with this low vibrational shit. I'm, oh, I'm truly over it. I want better. Shout out to all my people that get it. Because the fact that I'm still able to build the following and that, you know, the vast majority of what I get is love and people actually understand where I'm coming from and my intentions and y'all recognize like we 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 all critical thinkers over here. Like I love that shit. I love that shit. I love it. I love it. Shout out to y'all. Trash. You should have never been at my show. So she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that. Um Um Okay, so we're gonna give hundred percent of the blame to Tamar and then we're gonna hold up a mirror and then reflect that back to him. Drunk with a thousand people smelling like we looking dumb. Okay. So Zeus. Zeus behavior. And and I bet you Zeus probably filmed it for her show. So she apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And apparently she So you didn't know that it's a vibe all the time? You didn't know that it's a vibe all the time? You didn't know? Wanted to drop a beat. So she was mad. That she didn't get to perform. I, I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool. Okay. She. So I don't even care at this point. 
now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War. She ruined the song. She ruined the concert. She ruined the moment. So uh, pause. Let's pause it right there. Yeah, let's pause it right there because I actually want to put on the screen what he's referring to. And I might have to keep this on. Well, it's a live version. I shouldn't get copy with it. I'll be right. But pause. If you want to know what we look... <laughs> if you want to know. Bitch, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't want to know. What's on screen is basically Tamar is up there singing her heart the fuck out. And Krishan... Listen. Because Tamar's up there singing a love ballad. And Krishan is up there bopping like she like she listening to Pound Town. It's like they had two different places. First of all, they dress like they had two different events. Okay, and they up there moving and grinding like they at two different fucking events. Like Tamar is literally given wedding, given sexy, given I want to give you my all, my love, my last, my everything. And Krishan is giving you baby, come come beat this pussy up, come beat this pussy up, take me to Pound Town. I want to suck you from the window to the wall. Like it's like what is going on? What's going on? And somebody going to ask, does this top? the little mama and Jay-Z moment. Nothing is ever going to top that because that was the VMAs and that was worldwide. But at this point, child, Krishan is a worldwide threat. So maybe it does. Okay, maybe it does. At least little mama was talented and ha actually has great music. <laughs> Listen. This is literally what it gave. And listen, I'm going to stop it right here because I already know somebody going to be like, well, Tamar invited her. Tamar invited her on stage. I highly doubt that Tamar invited her on stage to sit and do that. I would bet every last... Mm, I can't do that. We're not betting nothing, but I'm going to just say... <laughs> I'm going to just say, I highly doubt that Tamar invited Krishan to get up on stage and do that. If anything, maybe come on stage at a specific time. Like, I, I, come on now. It's a concert. It, it has to be coordinated. But you're not about to get up on stage in the middle of my biggest song and fuck up my finale. Mo like, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But let's go to the comments and let's see some of the protect black women demographic, you know, trying to save this girl. So, as you can see at this comment right here, it says, are y'all going to show the live clip of Tamar inviting her on stage or are y'all just going to keep tearing this poor girl down? I just responded to that right before. Okay. Um, girl, she just beat up on that man last night at the same show. Goodbye. Our good sister's tearing her own self down. Are you going to keep defending her or are you going to hold her accountable and baby her overgrown ass? Poor girl, be for real. The same poor girl putting hands on people too? Let's talk about it. Have you seen footage of that? I've seen actual footage of her being invited on stage. Do we need to see footage of, like, do we need to see footage of that? We've seen enough footage. We've seen Krishan put her hands on people, right? We've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen it. This is the same bitch that beat up a girl in the sink. This is the same girl who was on a podcast and got upset and started fucking up their set, kicking the TVs and whatnot when Blue was being asked too many questions. Like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Tommy said, I just wonder, would this one not all this rest, but if she wasn't there with this one, one what, Tommy, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Somebody said, huh? <laughs> okay, because everybody's like, what is Tommy saying? So, <laughs> Tommy, put the coke down. Put the cola down. 
Somebody says, are you trying to say if Tamar wasn't there, would this video have went viral if Kashawn wasn't there? I'm confused, Tommy. You my girl. But y'all just let people write for you because you be blowed out your mind. <laughs> listen, listen, let's just let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's go back to the lives. Now, because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going man upset because she didn't get to perform so again y'all saw her show her dumb ass during love and war she ruined the song she ruined the concert she ruined the moment so then she go backstage <laughs> and she is upset okay because she didn't get to perform her ringtone so she storms into my <laughs> dressing room with a thousand people okay and everybody's like nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song we didn't even know that you made music we thought you was on zeus right so everybody's trying to calm her down she's in there rough, rough, like a dungeon dragon right so then james is like oh it wasn't on purpose like nobody tried to like shade you we we didn't know that you were supposed to sing she like lie again lie again and james like no nobody knew and she hit james right in his face chipped james tooth James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital. Now she Cardi took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. Going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them, and I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Crayshant know. Croissant. I just gotta say, this man is beautiful. He's a little too skinny for me, but he is gorgeous. Oh my God. I'm just looking at him like I would eat the fuck out of his ass. I bet it's hairy, so just how I like it. He cute though. He giving me like a little, like a little gay button. You know what I mean? Like a little <laughs> whoever she is. Joan Button. Like, you know what I'm saying? He cute. And whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me. I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show. Okay? I might not have sang Love and War, but I'm the only reason everybody now because Okay, well, y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. We go to the comments. Y'all should have never made them niggas famous. Sean is a little touch. Her reason and her comprehension just ain't there. <sighs> Tamar, her best friend, act just like, just alike. Same person, just different genders. I've never seen so many excuses for a grown woman. Y'all be so fanned out. Because Sean is not a child, so what we need to stop doing is tell her how to keep her hands to herself like she too on the playground. Actions to this magnitude have consequences, and she has put herself and her baby in jeopardy. She's been doing it. She's been doing it. She's been doing it. She can't bring that mentality everywhere, and now she got the right one. Oh, not Miss Lawrence tapping in. Miss Lawrence says she's going to come across the right one one day. Ain't no damn way. I'm telling you, because everybody don't give a fuck. Everybody does not give a fuck that she's a girl. The, like, everybody don't care. Everybody don't care. Well, let's keep going, child. Let's keep going. Man. I said, let's keep going. What, what part of let's keep going? Man? Do this computer not understand? Baby, where was we at? Where was we at? Because there's so many damn updates. Shout. Okay. Now be here. This says, Kashawn doesn't seem remorseful for punching James in the face. Why was she? Now she now. I can't wait till someone really grabs her, humbles her, cause she ain't the baddest in the street. She's not. You can tell the adults from the kids in these comments. You can't just go around assaulting whoever for whatever. <sighs> I posted the videos and Tamar asked her, but she gonna get on stage while all the lying. It's the semantics for me. Like a lot of y'all are remedial. Are remedial. Like, and it, this is what we get when we say no child left behind. We get y'all and we get Krishan because just because Tamar says 
are you getting on stage or come on stage doesn't mean come on stage in the middle of my biggest song. Like, what does people not understand that? And coming on stage is still something completely separate from punching someone. From punching someone. It's like me saying, are you coming to Red Lobster? And then you come to Red Lobster and then you go in the kitchen and cook. Because supposedly you throw down at your house. You don't play. And we supposed to think that you got to get in the kitchen and cook. And then when we say, no, you can't go back there and do that. Like you want to like, come on. Like, it. <sighs> okay. Okay, girl. This is Krishan on stage before the madness backstage. Obviously, I, I feel like this is right after Tamar wrapped up Love and War because she was already on stage. And mind you, Tamar is not just going to be like, girl, what the fuck you doing on stage? Or why the fuck would you like Tamar's going to keep it professional on stage. So I don't expect anything less than Tamar hugging her and hey, da -da -da -da, Tamar just going to go with the moment and keep it going as usual. And then if anything, say something backstage. Yeah, I like this bitch out. Let me get the singers. Damn. 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 So, Where the lights at? Can you turn the misses off? It seemed like they try. It seemed like Tamar trying to usher her off stage. Like, if you notice, it seemed like Tamar is like trying to pull her off. Like, girl, let's go. Oh, bitch, up. Why is the light? Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Drunk. Hey. 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 Mind you, we also got to consider the demographic. Like, this again is why I say, Tamar, you're part of the problem because Tamar doesn't make music for 15 year olds. Because Sean's demographic and Tamar's demographic is completely different. Tamar makes music for the aunties and the mothers and the grandmothers, like Tony's generation, right? Tamar makes people for people that's grown and sophisticated 30, 30, 35 and above. How Krishan is acting is just inappropriate for that crowd. It's it's just inappropriate. Yeah, I'm what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, no, no. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. Yeah, yeah. There's only four, y'all. We need more. Like, what are you? Like, all right. I'm not, I'm not part of the choir. Oh, I want you to sing. Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. Go I need, like, two more. Like somebody who really been waiting 10 years. Like she looks stupid on stage. She looks stupid. Let's go to the comments. All of the cussing in front of the aunties make me cringe. She got to learn the code switch. Exactly. She doesn't know how to code switch because she's retarded. I'd be pissed if I came off to hear uh, Love and War and ended up hearing it. So. <laughs> okay. Um... Tamar was showing her love by doing a little introduction. Tamar tried to ease her off that stage, and that clown over there yelling, yelling like this. <laughs> like, <coughs> like this bitch up when it's Tamar crowd ain't even her demographic. Listen, listen. Tamar's demographic is swing my way, okay? Tamar's demographic came near to his swing my way, and Krishan is trying to give him this. Cause Sean is about to send these aunties in the cardiac arrest. I can't. I can't. So it says Tamar and Tony Braxton giving us a live performance. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess that's just a good moment right there. Uh, let's see what the hell else happened. 
Here we go. Krishan says people are clout chasing off. Of it. We knew it. We called it. We called it. We called it. Krishan says people are clout chasing off an of incident at Tamar's concert. Wicked stuff started happening. Why everybody starts up? Let's get into it, Chad. We knew she was going to come out and say this because that's her excuse for everything. Krishan could get pulled over by the cops and she would say that the cops was clout chasing. I don't know. What's going on? And why niggas popping it like I'm not just a female, like, and the clout chasing shit is kind of what we're not going to do is be like, oh my god, again, protect black women. All of this falls under that umbrella. You're not going to go around being a violent vagina, hashtag violent vagina, hashtag violent vagina in the comments if you understand where I'm coming from. You do not get a pass because you have a vagina to go around and being just as much as a terrorist as these niggas. Nobody should be behaving like this. But just because you have a vagina does not give you a pass to go out there and be violent and then be like, well, I'm a female. You don't get to do that. You do not get to do that, Krishan. You do not get to do that. It's popping it like I'm not just a female. Like, And the clout chasing shit is kind of it's getting out of hand. So... But no, it was nothing between me and Tamar. I had nothing to do with any of that. But I don't know who's... I don't know. It was just like wicked stuff started happening. And then... I don't know. And then I let that go. I went... Nigga, I went to a party. Went back home to my kid. Nigga. What? Like, I don't... I had fun. What I don't... That has nothing to do with you putting your hands on that man. And you can say the problem was not between you and Tamar because it wasn't between you and Tamar. It was between you and Tamar's team. Of course you're not going to do that to Tamar because Tamar has more clout and more respect than you. And you want that clout and respect from Tamar. Because see, as much as Kershawn likes to sit and act like everybody's clout chasing off of her, she's also doing the clout chaser. She's, in fact, the biggest clout chaser. She just uses it to her benefit. But we know damn well you're not going to go down there and disrespect Tamar, especially not with Tony there and Birdman probably circling around somewhere. Like, you're not going to do all of that to live in legends. No, you're not. But to everybody else that you feel like you cannot grow from, that you cannot seize an opportunity from, that you like that you might look at as the help or the motherfuckers that's over there, yeah, you're going to disrespect the fuck out of them, but you wouldn't dare do that shit to Tamar. Not until you've gotten what you needed from her. Don't get is the storytelling. Like, why everybody storytelling? Y'all got all the videos of us cheering, praying, post. Y'all was posted that. Girl, don't nobody give a fuck about all of that. Because you can pray to God one minute and then be whooping the bitch's ass the next. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because I beat a bitch's ass and then help them get off the floor and be like, my bad, God. But they was getting on my nerves. Like, that means nothing. That means nothing. Duality is a thing. It's possible to be ratchet and righteous. Like, so please, please get out of my face playing in my face. Post the other shit y'all talking about because everything is recorded and documented. And I hate when people say that because on the flip side of shit, people always be like, oh, well, post it, post the footage, post the footage. And while granted, sometimes there literally is no footage because motherfuckers are making shit up. The other half of the time, people are saying post the footage because they know damn well there is no footage. They know damn well there is no proof. And all you can go off of is, is word, of, word of mouth. And I was going to wait to the end of the video to say this, and I'm going to probably say it again, but I'm going to say it right now. I don't care whether or not she put hands on that man. I don't care if he's in a hospital. I don't care if she actually physically assaulted somebody. I don't care. Just like y'all sitting here looking at Jonathan Majors like, oh, but even if he didn't touch that little white girl, you got all of these other cases that led up to it, so still, he still need to be thrown in jail. Same shit for Krishan applies. Karma is a bitch, and she, you you can't tell her when to come. Karma gonna show up when you least motherfucking expect it. So, even if she didn't put hands on that man, but it took this situation and the outrage of this situation to finally land that bitch in jail for the terrorism and the acts that she has committed over the last two, three years, then fine. Fine. Hey, a win is a win. A win is a win. Because even if you didn't do it this time, baby, it's been documented of all the 99 other times you've been a problem. I don't know what's going on. I don't even care. 
Is she in a Rolls Royce? Clout needs to be removed from her vocabulary. And what world would Tamar in her team <laughs> need clout from Kishaw? Somebody said she, on another post she would go lie, play victim, and say it's for clout. And that's exactly what she's doing. That's all she does. That's all she does every single time. Clout is her favorite word. She should have named her baby Clout. Kishaw and Clout Rock. Clout Jr. Like, girl. That's all she do every single time. Every single time, y'all. Every single time. That is Krishan. Child, let's keep it going. Did y'all like this video yet? As many rough jeps as I'm letting y'all hoes listen to. Y'all better like the damn video before I play another one. Because you know I got more. Let's keep it going. What else happening? Um... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we got the footage. Okay, so footage of Krishan harassing Tamar's background singer last night during a plaque presentation. She was asked to leave and move up. Here we go. Is that Swiss Broly? And the black hood is that? We got you this cake. Oh. We're so proud of you. That you no, 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 no. We gotta start that over. Why is she touching that girl like that? Why that girl move like that? Um, and so we put that lighting on and said, Oh, look at touching that girl. And so we got you this cake, this level one cake. We're so proud of you. That girl said, Get off me. And then, you know, everybody holds you down. James looking like, What's going on? And so. James really do look like Switch Rolling. I've never been to Tamar's but I have. And there's something that's missing at her house on her walls. They said y'all wouldn't come. They told us we had to be small rooms. Um, and so we put that body on. They said y'all wouldn't stand up and stay with it. And so we Girl. got to this cake, this level cake. Oh my god, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. What's crazy is Krishan legit doesn't think she's doing anything wrong. The problem is she thinks she's bigger than what she is. Why is she up there? Why is she singing? Why even invite her if you don't want her to touch you or be around? She's just being herself. It's, it'd be retards like this. Why even invite her if you don't want her to touch you or be around? What is wrong with y'all retards? Just because I invite you and I say there's going to be a special moment where I want you on stage, does it mean you come on stage in the middle of my biggest scene? The bigger, the, 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 come on stage and make a scene in the moment of my biggest sh song. And it also doesn't mean come on the stage and harass my team. She's just being herself. Okay, herself is a terrorist. Herself is an abuse, abuser. Like herself is a fucking. <sighs> I don't even know the word. A monster. Like, let's see what the people responded to that. Tamar invited her, not the backup singer. She was <laughs> she was invited to perform, not touch people. Are you slow? Really? That woman is a backup singer. She doesn't have a chance on who is invited, but she has the right to tell that drunk bitch. <laughs> they didn't say bitch. I did. <laughs> drunk bitch to back off her. So because someone invites you somewhere that gives them the right to invade personal space, she don't even know that girl for real. And people out here have anxiety and shit. If she don't want to be touched, there's nothing wrong with that. Why is she isn't just isn't wait, why is she just touching people in the first place? Only person she should really be touching is Tamar because Tamar fuck with her. Okay, listen. What's wild is that if he had punched her back and she had endured the same injuries, none of y'all would be making excuses for him the way y'all making excuses for her. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Y'all will be yelling, protect black women. Protect black women. Black women are the most disrespected. Okay. So what, what happens when a black woman is the one doing the disrespect? What happens when a black woman is the one that's putting everybody else at risk and threatening everybody else to need protection? Like, what happens then? Girl, let's keep it going. I'm having fun. Y'all having fun? I'm having fun. I am having fun. It's like doomsday, but the Kershawn edition. Okay, what else is going to come out? What else is going to come out?
Baby, how many updates is it? Girl, it's still going on. Now, what is this? Glad to hear James isn't letting this situation break his spirit. So let me tell you what ain't nobody going to do. Ain't nobody going to take my joy. Ain't nobody going to take my praise. First of all, why is Swiss Rolly not on camera? I know his name is James Wright Chanel, but he looked like he belonged on Baddies East. It's really giving me Rolly. Why is Swiss Rolly not on camera? That's what I want to know because I saw somebody I, I saw somebody try to say that he um never admitted that Kashawn did it. But like, no, come on camera. Come on camera. Come on camera. Come on camera, Halle Bailey. Come on camera. And not with no old footages, no old videos, no old photos. Come on camera. Let the people see. It's Ain't nobody gonna take my worship. It, I just did it, Troy. Ain't nobody gonna take my worship. And let me tell you the crazy thing in this whole situation. Y'all should see my fucking face. And I still got joy. Oh, wow. He's confirming it. I still got joy. Let me tell you what ain't nobody gonna do. Ain't nobody gonna take my joy. Ain't nobody hey, gonna take my praise. That. Ain't nobody gonna take my worship. It, I just did it, Troy. Ain't nobody gonna take my worship. And let me tell you the crazy thing in this whole situation. Y'all should see my fucking face. And I still got joy. I mean, we got the opportunity to see your face now, but you're not, you're not allowing us to, to like, what we doing, James? <sighs> Let's take a look at the comments, sir. Press charges because if you did that to her, it would be a riot. Listen, yes. I and I feel like it. he's not pressing charges because he's probably scared. He probably scared that Krishan going to send the goons and send Blueface and he probably scared. Krishan going to attend church tomorrow and cry for the cameras and y'all going to eat it right up. Listen, okay? Okay? Child, if he even would have swung back, they would have been down this poor man's throat. Let's talk about it. Let's wake it up. Let's wake it up. Let's wake it up. Shout out to my critical thinkers out there. Shout out to my critical thinkers out there. Let's wake it up. Because we equal opportunities over here. Women are just as violent as men. Everybody be violent. And y'all all need y'all asses beat. Both men and women alike. Krishan is the type to hide behind God but do a lot of evil. Watch her be at church tomorrow saying people clout chasing for the 50th time. <laughs> Not pin the cash yet. <laughs> if y'all really believe Krishan did all that to a big man, y'all just be praying for this girl downfall. Y'all always asking for video proof but ain't seeing it. So until then, ain't no telling if it's true or not. This man is really saying that she did it. What? <sighs> Let's take a look at this bitch page. Is it? Is it? Is it private? Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course, of course it is. Of course it is. And of course it's a 12 year old. Okay. 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 Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. She better stop playing. It's always somebody that will unalive you for swinging on them. Listen, she going to learn. She going to learn. She going to learn. She going to learn. Child, somebody going to come up and be like, let me teach you. And she going to learn. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, anything else happen? Since no one is taking up for me, I'll continue to take up for myself. So, Mr. L. Davis speaks out again. LaTroy not letting up on Krishan. The guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together, he didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. It was some other like, the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together, he didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. It was some. Uh oh, not the, not the receipts. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Latroy, nice to meet you. Tamar had told Krishan that she wanted to bring her out tonight. Yes, Tamar, let me know she invited her. What do we have to do to get the passes? I'm almost at the venue. We'll have her come there through the artist entrance, so just want to make sure I tell you all the correct places. Is six in total correct? No, seven. I don't think I could do seven. This is a small venue. Okay, six then. Ooh. Ooh. Now, who's who? I want to know who is this he texting with. But I love how it went from seven to six. 
So you just said, okay, you that's in the camp, you can't come. Like, I, mm, 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 mm. I don't even be understanding why people be traveling in packs like that. I'm sorry. Listen, when y'all see me worldwide and in, I'm in my studio sessions and I'm traveling around the world and doing all of these tours and shit, you ain't going to see me but nobody but my man. My man. And maybe security. And my nigga going to be big enough to be security. So listen, I'm not traveling in packs because who's paying for all that? Who's paying for all that? Who's paying for all that? I got to pay to make sure everybody eat. I got to pay to make sure everybody got get in. I got to pay to make sure everybody get drunk. I'm not... Mm, I don't work to feed y'all bitches. So I never understood that whole 20 people in a studio session. Bitch, if you don't move, y'all fucking up the creative flow. That's why these girls' songs be sounding like that. Because there be too many niggas in a goddamn studio. You can't think right. You can't focus right. All that damn smoke and ganja in the goddamn ear fucking with your damn brain. It's probably what's wrong with retarded ass Kishon now. Seven damn people to come to a con. Like, how are you a plus one inviting seven more people? Make it make sense. How are you a plus one inviting six other people? Child. We just going to give Kishon the benefit of the doubt and say that those are the other parts of her brain that she needed there with her. And apparently, maybe the seven person had the strongest part of the brain. And that's why she started misfunctioning that night. Tamar says, I love you, Mr. L. Davis. Thank him, y'all, for this whole love in War 10. Okay. Armand says, why is Tamar not saying anything? Honestly, it's best for Tamar not to say anything because the second Tamar opens up her mouth, she's going to make it 20 times worse. We already know this. Where did Armand and Dan? He said he wasn't invited, but the sex shows she was invited and some of the people that she had with her. He also said he didn't know she did music, but the text says something about bringing her through the artist's entry. Are people people are really retarded. Artist entrance doesn't mean that you're performing. Artist entrance means you're coming so that the general public doesn't see you. Artist entrance is the same thing like an airplane. We obviously can't bring you through the general entrance because it's going to cause a fucking commotion. So we got to bring you through a side door. Hence why, like on talk shows and shit like that, you don't see celebrities just walking through the front door. They come through a backstage entrance. What's wrong with people? This is all Tamar's fault. I like her, but she had no business even hanging, entertaining, homegirl. This is not her age group, tax bracket, class of people. Women in this industry always want to hang out with the new ghetto thing, but it's just some room some people shouldn't be. Exactly. Coming with six, seven people to a venue is just too much. And T probably was like, yeah, you can perform. I'm going to bring you on stage or something like that. She has until end of day to make a statement because this hair is seen too much. I agree. Let's keep going. Then we got the way that Tony Braxton is looking at Krishan. Krishan Rockgate just keeps getting better. Look at this Tony Braxton. The living life of Tony Braxton. That's Krishan. Look at, to look at Tony's over face. Tony's face. Read a bag. Look at the face. Tony's face. She's like, I know Tony you was lied. disgusted. That's going to be a gift, Tony. I'm a meme, a gift. And Tony was disgusted. That is going in social media history. <laughs> <laughs> Krishai was lit. She was the situation. Tamar looks gorgeous. Tony's fat! Child, look at Auntie Rox in the comments. She says, child, my generation just doesn't understand what's happening these days. And neither do we, Auntie. Like, and that'd be pissing me off because I, listen, it's Rox. Make sure that y'all go, um, support her YouTube channel. That is literally like my favorite YouTuber of all time. That's my Auntie. I love her. And I be feeling so bad because she's a little bit older. She's like in her 50s and she don't be understanding what's going on now. And she be trying to pick and choose her words because she don't want to like come off disrespectful. But at the end of the day, and I need to start doing videos on this. Our generation, it's not even our generation. I feel like it's a Gen Z thing. I feel like in the 80s and the 90s where they was just like, okay, parents just don't understand and da 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 it was really like, okay, people were tripping because music was new, hip-hop and all of that was new, so that's why parents weren't understanding. Like, it was completely different. Now, the bar is literally in hell, and now it really is, like, you cannot say anything to anyone without it being like, oh, you age shaming, or you putting the kids down, and, like, it's not the same thing. You cannot compare 2024's music and today's kids and this generation to how shit was in the 80s and the 90s. It's not the same. The bar is literally in fucking hell. It's literally in hell. And you can't talk to anybody and then, the, the, 
like I always say, who who gonna have a biggest residency in twenty years? Where are our legend statements and stars at? Because I'm not seeing them outside of Doja Cat. Let's see. Do we have anything else? Do we have anything else? Child, I think that's it. Let me see. Let me take it on over to TikTok real quick and see if we got anything new. Make sure y'all go and like this video while I'm looking for new information. Tamar was asking if she getting on stage. She didn't say performance. She said you get on stage. Again, I already said it earlier. I feel like ask her, are you getting on stage? But like, are you gonna come out and say hi to the people? Not necessarily are you performing. Even if she said that she could perform, whatever, still the way in which we saw Krishan on stage and all these videos that we seeing is not the way in which Tamar had it in her head. So it doesn't matter. I feel like y'all are arguing over semantics, whether or not she was asked to perform or wasn't a da-da-da. Like, all of that doesn't matter. The way in which Tamar envisioned her being on stage was not the way in which it ended up happening. Point blank in the period. Point blank in the period. People keep asking if I have proof or did I see any proof? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this, too. I definitely saw, because I definitely saw this post from Krishan, and it's, it's a post that says, I don't get disrespectful till you get disrespectful. So, yeah, there is post that Krishan had up that got deleted. So, it's a good thing that I came to TikTok for more receipts. No, I wasn't there. I didn't get to record it, but she did post and delete and delete. That's the key point. I don't get disrespectful till you disrespect me or till you get disrespectful. So, being that you heard everything that's being said, Instead of saying, I did not touch nobody, this is what you said. So this is telling me, yeah, I punched this motherfucker, but he deserved it. No, keep your hands to yourself, period. And shout out to the person who going to comment on my page and say, I see you posting all these TikTok videos, but are you giving these people credit? No, because bitch, y'all can literally see the screen. And if you want to give them credit, you want to go support them, bitch. You see their name. I'm not blacking out anything. I don't feel like I need to shout out, ooh, there go, I mean... I just shouted out it's Ross because that's my favorite YouTuber of all time. But I'm not going to sit and go through each TikTok and say this is a post by da 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 when you can literally see the fucking credit on screen. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Um, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Did it on site post anything? Okay, I don't see anything new on, on site. Uh, okay, well, we might to just wrap this up because I don't see anything new. Watching this cake, this love and war cake, we're so proud of you that you believe in yourself. And then, uh, you know, everybody holds you okay, down. Okay, we saw that already. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. Thank you guys. Okay, let's just see if there was an update on James. I guess that's the last thing that we can do. They said y'all were to come. They told us we had to be small in. Um, and so we do that right now. There's something that's missing at her house. Yeah, everybody buy a badge for a dollar. 
This is what the guy who Krishan allegedly hit went live and said. Let me just tell y'all. Wait and pause, because look at this first comment. They were videotaping the whole night, but no one caught that, and he didn't press charges. No police were called, but the cash app is up. Girl, I don't know what you're trying to imply. Actually, I do. You're trying to imply that this was a whole setup for Krishan to for them to use Krishan and use her for clout and then make, make it seem like she did something. Listen, like I said in the beginning, I don't care if Krishan did it or didn't. There's 99 other fucking documents, okay? Other footages out there of her actually doing shit. And if this is the one time that it took to take her down, so fucking be it. You cannot tell Karma when to come, nor do you know when she will come. Take this bitch the fuck down. Take it down. Take it down. I am... Um... God is the joy and the strength of my life. And that's that. Why are these guys asking for cash up? I saw a video of them toasting after the concert and Krishan was smiling and standing next to him. Exactly. I saw a Red Cups toasting and having a good time. Here's a video with Tamar asking the Rock to perform. This is fishy. No one saw Krishan's red solo cup go up to her mouth. She sips a Sprite and he works with Tamar. <sighs> Listen, I don't know how many times I can keep saying that. I don't care whether she hit him or didn't. Throw her in jail. And the baby. And Blueface. And Jaden, because you're not about to be on Beyonce's label and think you about to no. And the mama, because I see the mama is now trying to set up a boxing match between her and Tasha Kate. Like throw them all in jail, except for Taseki, unless she really did touch that boy. And then throw her in jail too. I can't. And Chow, so it seemed like it ain't nothing new. It seemed like it ain't nothing new going on. What Christian Rock? I mean, me and talking about because everything is recorded, it's documented. Okay, so child, let me know what y'all thoughts and your opinions about all of this is. That in the description box below. I don't know what's been going on, but child, the last like four or five videos all been over an hour. Girl, I guess I just gotta stop cussing so much so I can actually get paid from all this damn work I'm doing. But child, make sure that y'all. Go and comment down below as if I give a fuck. Definitely make sure that you stream my music as if you give a fuck. And if you fucking with the rough drafts, bitch, let me know in the, in the comment box below. Because listen, I got so much music that I just... Mm, I got music that's years and decades old. And so I'm going to just... That's what I'm going to just keep doing from now on. It's just posted it just as little rough drafts. I'll let y'all hit a little rough drafts and shit. And then if I feel like people fuck with something or resonate with something, you know, maybe I'll get it mixed and then put it out. Okay, because I got hundreds of songs that I have of all different type of genres. So, comment below with your opinion. Let me know what you thought, um, what your thoughts are. And, I mean, do you agree with what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what the hell happened at this concert. I feel like Tamar doesn't need to say anything. I feel like whether or not she hit James, I don't care. She's hit enough people. And we're not about to keep protect black women in this shit. We're not. We're not. Because y'all said that Blueface was the problem. And they ain't been together in months. And Krishan is still around here abusing folks. Y'all said that uh, Blueface was the abuser. And Krishan is clearly the abuser. Y'all want to sit and act like there isn't video footage of Krishan being on people's podcasts. Fucking the entire set up because she got mad at Blue. I will never forget when she was sitting down being questioned. She didn't like that there was being so many questions asked and shit. And then she started kicking ATV and like, girl, throw her in jail. For a long, 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 long time. Okay. Let me know y'all thoughts and comments down in the comment box below. Like the screen says, if you want to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, thealigningsouls.com. Otherwise, you can do a $50 Q&A where, you know, it's a little quickie mini reading. And, you know, all of that information is in the description box below. Also, join my Patreon. I'm trying to build up that network so I can start doing videos because I can't be putting out hour-long videos like this on YouTube and then not getting paid for it. Like, I'm going to have to start chopping some of these videos in half or doing exclusive content, you know, over on Patreon where I can really let it all hang out. Okay? Go join the Patreon. I love each and every one of y'all. And they see audio. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Booty congregation 